So what's the difference between a 2017 and a 2020 Paul Reed Smith Mark Holcomb uh, signature guitar? Let's see, they're made in two different factories, but they should have the same specs. So let's see what the difference is. <laughs> So as you might have noticed, the guitars, they sound pretty much identical. It's because they both have the Mark Holcomb uh, signature Seymour Duncan Alpha and Omega pickups. Even though there's three years between these guitars, I'm pretty sure that the, the design is still the same and the, you know, the way they manufacture it is probably the same as well. So they sound pretty much identical. And you know, the formula of the guitar, the, the wood and the construction and everything is about the same. So, I mean, there's tiny things that I will show that are different between these guitars, but other than that, they're mostly, you know, identical. There's a bit of difference between the finish. This one here is a 2020 one, and it has uh, less color in the fade here, in the, in the burst of the, uh, the paint job. The other one has a lot more color, so you can probably see it like here next to each other that the, the old one has more of this red purplish fade that goes onto a kind of like a brighter gray, I guess. And the, the pattern of the wood is also a little bit different, the, the grain. So I don't know what they changed, but the guitar from 2017 is made in Korea. And the 2020 guitar is made in Indonesia. But the finish, like the, the neck has a kind of like a satin finish on the back, which is super nice. It's so slick and uh, just feels like you're gliding on nothing. And the other one has the same, so they feel pretty much identical. Um, I don't know if the difference in color here is because this one has aged three years and this one is pretty much brand new, but this one has binding on the neck that's kind of like yellow, creamy white something, while this one is just like really bright white. So it could be that the other one is just old. The controls feel the same. They both have split uh, humbuckers, they have the same toggle switch, they feel the same, the bridge is the same. It's like it's the same guitar and it kind of feels like it was made in the same factory, so I don't know why they changed it. There might be other reasons for that, but you know, it seems like the quality of the guitar is about the same. Anyways, the small difference here is that this one has Mark Holcomb uh, name on the, on the plate for the truss rod, but this one has nothing. Both guitars have the same strings, the same set, the same manufacturer, and they're about the same age. They're, so they should sound pretty much identical. It's the 10 to 52 by GHS. So I'm just gonna go through a few tones, going from something clean to something slightly crunchy to more heavy stuff. And I'm also gonna try out a different tuning because this guitar comes out of the factory in drop C. So it's been optimized for drop C tuning which is what Periphery play quite a bit in, even though they do like seven string and eight string stuff. And sometimes they do this other tuning, which I'm gonna do soon, which is basically a drop C tuning where you take the, the C string here and drop it to an A, and it just gives you a slightly different flavor. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit, but until then I'm gonna do some, some clean tones and some crunchy tones and do the, the split and the humbucker to show you the the variety of, of sounds you can get from it because this guitar sounds amazing. So the interesting thing about these pickups is that 
they sound really good and with any other driven tone it will sound amazing thing is that they're so hot that I'm gonna play a patch here on my Axe FX, which is normally very clean it's an AC 30 which is fairly highly cranked up but with a medium to low output pickup there will be it, the sound will be pretty clean but with this guitar it's actually not that super clean but if you go into the split mode position and bridge So even though the pickup is quite hot, it's clear, articulate, and um, the balance is pretty good. So, I mean, I don't think it matters. You can play through anything and this guitar will sound amazing. You would just have to adjust a little bit like the gain, the input gain of the amp to, to accommodate the output of the pickups, so. So here's the 2017 guitar. It should sound pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to go through the the few positions and uh, see what happens. Try the split position. Okay, let's go through some crunchy tones. Okay, so here we have another preset on my Axe Effects, which is called Brown Face. So it's like a, a driven fender, I think. Split the uh, pickups to see what happens. So I feel like I've established pretty much that the guitars they sound the same. I mean, if there's any difference, it's just a margin of like tolerance in the in the windings and you know electronics and stuff like that. But and the playing, I guess. So like. It's not going to sound the same in my hands as it will in your hands, but the guitars, they sound about the same and they feel very similar. It's like the setup is slightly different. I had to take the, the old one and just redo the whole setup because my friend who owns it, he had a lot thicker strings and the action was very high and just it's kind of not optimized, not the way it's supposed to be. So I took it and I optimized the setting of the intonation of the neck relief and everything. So. It plays about the same as this one. They have very similar action and very similar, um, you know, just playability. So they sound and feel about the same. So here we have the 2020 guitar and I have a patch which is based on a Soldano SLO 100 with I think a tube screamer in front. Something like that is fairly high gain and tight. So uh, 
you know, that's what this guitar is, you know, pretty much made for, so. <laughs> Split coils sound amazing. So here's their other tuning, which is the, the drop C with the C drop to an A. So it's like this. And I've only practiced this riff for a few times and I don't have the whole thing, so I'm just gonna repeat the, the first half of it. But, you know, this is what they do with their tuning here. So it's pretty cool. I guess if the guys in Periphery are playing this song or other songs in this tuning, they will have a thicker string for the A. And I'm pretty sure they will have a specific guitar for that and a specific guitar for drop C and you know, they're loaded with guitars. So I think uh, 10 to 52 is maybe not the optimal strings for this tuning, but you can kind of make it happen. So it's, a, it's not that bad, but the pickups sound amazing. Okay, so this was just like a quick kind of comparison between these two guitars. So I'm gonna do another video of uh, the 2020 guitar because it's the current model that's being made now and is available to purchase wherever you buy a guitar. In my conclusion, I would say that, I mean, the, within like margin of error, I think they're about 99, 98% the same, except for tiny details. And I will. I will put up the, the small things that I have seen that are different, which are very tiny. For example, on the back side here, the, the, the little rings here where you string through the, where you put the strings through, it's a little bit different. And the little plastic cover here for the electronics is a little bit different. And you know, the finish. So other than that, these guitars are amazing. And even if you're kind of considering buying the newest one, if you find an old one, you know, I don't know when they started making these, but at least this one is 2017. So if you find one around this age or, or anywhere in between for a good price, then just go get it. And uh, I wouldn't say that there's any benefit of the 2020 over the 2017 and, you know, therefore the 2018 or 2019, they'll be identical pretty much. So yeah, I pretty much love these guitars. They play and feel amazing. They sound so good. And that would be these pickups. They are just so great and uh, I think that if you want to buy one and if you're considering buying one you should just go for it because it's the guitar that can do pretty much almost anything uh, the pickups are a bit on the hot side so consider that if you're looking for like a classic PAF style guitar this isn't it it is a very modern guitar but you can kind of I guess tame it if you just take your amp and turn down the gain and stuff then you'll, you'll get some good stuff because the pickups are very clear 
and articulate and like everything will ring through perfectly so it will sound good through anything in my opinion if you like the video please subscribe and like and comment what do you think have you tried to get this guitar do you have it what are your thoughts tell me in the comments below